What is your coffee order? It's a bit complicated. My morning coffee order is just a standard dark roast. One raw sugar, a little bit of cream, but afternoon's where it gets really complicated. I do anywhere from a six to an eight shot decaf espresso, ristretto, just better, better pool of espresso, in a venti cup over ice, ice in first, a little bit of cream. So, sorry, it's complicated. What is your go-to guy for a practice round partner? I would say the guys I play with most would be like Bill Haas. Bill and I have the Wake Forest connection and I've known Bill for a long time, so we seem to get a lot of rounds together. Why did you start playing the game? I started playing because of my dad. He was a once or twice a week golfer. We had a place down in Wilmington at the beach and it was right beside one of the golf courses, so enough times of hanging out with him and kind of driving the cart. I got interested and once I started playing, he got my first set of clubs for me, I was hooked and couldn't get enough. What would you tell a 13-year-old Webb Simpson? Honestly, I would tell uh, the 13-year-old version of me exactly what my dad and you know my coach growing up kept telling me. I, I don't think they could have said it any better. They kept telling me that as I was having success on the junior level, that every level up from junior golf to amateur golf to college golf to professional golf and the various professional golf tours that everybody is better at the next level. It's easy to win local tournaments and state tournaments, and it's hard to imagine that when you're winning those tournaments that there's guys out there that are better. But they kept telling me that, and they kept putting it in my ear that I could never settle for being a great statewide player if I wanted to make it on the PGA Tour. And so I think I had this great understanding from a young age, thanks to my dad and my coach, that I never needed to stop getting better if I wanted to make it out here. I think that's what still helps me try to improve, that I'm 32 now, Guys are getting younger, stronger, better, and so there's you know Jordan Spieth and Ricky Fowler coming up all the time. Have you always played Titleist equipment and why? I always have. My first golf ball was the Titleist Tour Bellata when I first started, but you know growing up that was the only ball, and Titleist was getting into more club making when I was nine, ten years old. So because of their ball and their glove, I think that's what led me to want to play their clubs. If they have the best ball and the best glove, then they were in my mind, gonna have the best clubs. What is the most important stat you follow week after week? I can't say one, I say two. I would say uh, strokes gain tee to green and strokes gain putting. I feel like if those two are average to above average, I'm gonna have a good week of golf. And I think that's the case for most guys, but I feel like those stats are, they're created off of no bias at all. And it gives me a good kind of picture of where my game's at as a whole. What is the best score you've ever posted and where was it? I shot 58 at my home course in Raleigh at Carolina Country Club and I was 16 years old.